Greetings, my name is Rubina Esmail. I'm the country director for the GIZ in Turkey since 2018. GIZ is Germany's leading service provider for international development. Our main commissioning party is the Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, the BMZ. GIZ has been working in Turkey since more than 60 years. With the Turkish government, we have done more than 300 projects together, ranging from agricultural projects to technology, to education and infrastructure in Turkey. Since 2015, the German government decided that the GIZ should support the Turkish government for its refugee response. In 2015, the German government, um, through the GIZ, provided financial support to Turkey in its response to the refugees in flux from Syria. Since that time, the German government has provided more than 227 million euros bilaterally to Turkey through the GIZ. With the funds coming from uh, Germany, GIZ is cooperating with various actors. We're cooperating with national ministries, with municipalities, with uh, NGOs such as ASAM, who has been our partner since the very beginning. We have done a lot of work with ASAM in the area of providing community services, skills building, um, training courses, and much more. With the municipalities, especially in Southeast Turkey, we've had a great cooperation. Municipalities such as Hatay, Kiles, Gaziantep, and all the way to Shanlufa and Martin, we have been closely cooperating with the NGOs in these communities, but also directly with the municipalities and um, governmental directorates from the ministry, national ministries. GIZ, in its response to uh, the refugee influx, is very particular to make sure that our support at municipal level is in a variety of ways. We look at education, we look at training, we support skills building, capacity development, but also we look at employment, psychosocial support, and social cohesion. GIZ has several projects running at the same time here in Turkey, responding to the needs of the host communities and the refugees. For this reason, we have set up a cluster to make sure that our response is holistic and that the response is in a manner taking care of all aspects uh, of refugee needs, but also host community needs. What are the projects of the GIZ? At the moment, we have projects that are looking at uh, skills building, employment, language trainings, and vocational trainings. In its response to the refugees and host community needs, GIZ is especially focusing on young people, children and women. We are providing, for example, parent support in early childhood education for children. We are looking at young people and providing career guidance to them and language trainings. In our response to women, who are looked at through all our projects, we are especially trying to support women in becoming independent and empowered. 
So something that we uh, focus on is um, skills building for employment, but also skills building to become resilient and to care for their families. Women are also one of the target groups who are creating their own cooperatives to become independent in their work life. One area in which the GIZ especially focus on is social cohesion. Refugees and host communities need to live and enjoy life together in their neighborhoods. So social cohesion is an area in which we have been working very strongly to make sure that there is a good integration. Social cohesion also means for us economic uh, cohesion. So livelihood is an area that we have been focusing on more and more. Livelihood support means for the GIZ that both host communities and refugees um, get the support they need to integrate themselves into the labor market. This means we're looking at the demand side, we're looking at the supply side, we're making sure that companies are getting the right skilled people, and we are making sure that in the communities, those who want to enter the labor market get the right skills through the GIZ so that they have a long-term prospect to work and live in the communities in which they are present. To ensure that the labor market integration is sustainable and smooth, GIZ is providing language training courses, skills building, vocational trainings, but beyond that, we are also making sure through salaries, um, insurance, and work permit provisions that our beneficiaries are attractive for the market and the integration into companies becomes much smoother and that these beneficiaries are attractive also as workers in different types of companies. We make sure that the skills that we build are future oriented. For example, we're looking at the green economy, which means we are, for example, providing vocational trainings for photovoltaic installers. Or we're looking at the digital world. We're making sure that there are programmers who are ready for the future. So there are a variety of areas in which GIZ is trying to support both host communities and the refugees who live in the municipalities. GIZ and the German government are committed to the topic of flight and migration. The German government has made it as one of its priorities in the coming years. Turkey is one of those countries who are hosting the biggest number of uh, refugees and migrants. And this is something that I think Turkey can be very proud of. And we are very happy to be here as GIZ, supporting municipalities, ministries, but also working directly with the beneficiaries. For the Refugee Day, I would like to emphasize that each one of us can become a refugee. Each one of us may need the help of another person. So let us think about this refugee as an important day to reflect on what each one of us is doing for their neighbors, for people coming from other countries, for people in need. And I think it is an obligation for each one of us to help each other, to integrate into the host communities and to make sure that we feel one in the municipality and that we're all part of a neighborhood, of a country, of the world. And only together, we will manage a better future for all of us. Thank you.